back to our old self. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's uh, been a bit of a rush today and not by it, it didn't need to be. <laughs> yeah. It really didn't. Especially didn't with, with me binge watching a whole series. <laughs> like, yeah. I when you messaged me earlier, I was playing Disco Elysium. Yes. Because this is the third time I've played this. It's been a couple of months, but I, I've been thinking about it a lot. And so I bought it on my Switch. So now I've been playing it on my TV. It's been very oh, fun. Okay. But I forgot how much of like an absolute time sink it is. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, I'll just play a little bit more. It's fine. And then an hour went past and it was three o'clock. And I was like, I have to go take a shower. <laughs> I have to take a shower and I have to go walk the dogs. And then Spotify rap dropped and I spent about 10 minutes going, <laughs> <laughs> What songs have I been listening to? It can be so, very... And then I had to walk the dogs and I had to come back and do stuff. It really, it, it was just a bunch of stuff that it didn't need to be. And it was my own fault. It's okay. It happens. It happens. It's, uh, you know, you know, it's so, it's so good. <laughs> I mean, I could have ended up watching this series for like, I don't know, eight in the evening. And uh, I was finished with it very quickly. I was very surprised. Uh, mm. Hmm. Uh, also, uh, before we start talking about any movie stuff, do you want to introduce our beautiful podcast? I shall. Hi, everyone. Welcome to all the films we judged before. I'm Katie, and that over there, as ever, is the effervescent Lily Kay. Ah, my favorite <laughs> word. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. It's also just, you know, part of one of my favorite memes. So there you go. There you go. Uh, so it's nailed today. <laughs> effervescent. <laughs> Uh, I take it. I take it. Um, hello. Hi. Um, we have some talking to do, and this will be mm. a, 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 one of our shortest episodes, to be honest, uh, because uh, the, now we are at a point where I am in a rush kind of thing. Not really, mm. but you know, should be uh, finishing wrapping this up a bit earlier than we usually do. Yeah. Um, and uh, there's a lot to discuss. Um, um, mostly it's going to be a lot of me babbling on about <laughs> things that I watched. <laughs> All right. and... We were meant to have Elliot with us today. Yes. Well, technically we were meant to have him with us three days ago, but then thing life got in the way, as it so often does. And now <sighs> Elliot's busy being, I don't know, great, I'm sure. Um... Yes, he's, he's performing. So he's... he's oh, yeah. even better. Even better, yeah. He's, you know, uh, he's out there uh, doing God's work. <laughs> God's work in the theatre. <laughs> in the theatre. Uh, so, yeah, um, he's busy, busy. He's a busy bee. Um, I, I wish he could be here because I'm sure he would uh, very much enjoy this talk. But finally... Uh, uh, the Eternals, the beautiful Eternals. Uh, but before we get into that, I will mention two things that I was. I literally showed three fingers before. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> it shows. I watched five. No, so that's actually fine. Fuck, that's a joke. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yes, uh, in reality, I did. Which, which? Huh. <laughs> what happens when we're like, we have to get this done now? <laughs> It's going really well. It's going really very, very, very focused and all, all that. Uh, I watched three things uh, in reality because I watched Hawkeye as well before we, before we started uh, our recording. The uh, episode three just dropped on Disney Plus. Um, Katie haven't watched Hawkeye, so it's I hard to talk that. about it. Uh, I will say <laughs> that this episode was the best so far. Uh, it was first of all the. Uh, beginning of the episode is just brilliant. I loved every second of it. Uh, and uh, I can tell that uh, without spoiling anything that uh, we get the, the chase scene that, that was shown uh, in the trailers as well. So it's it's in this episode. And oh, it's, okay. It's very good. Very, very good. Uh, so I, I can't wait uh, what they will bring out of this show because uh, so far I am liking it a lot. And I love the Christmas spirit in there. So I'm not going to lie. I, I really enjoy Christmas music in, in Hokai. It's like, yay! Yeah, I'll, I'll get to it. I just haven't sat down to watch it yet. I mean, to be fair, on my part, I also haven't finished. I haven't caught up on Critical Role and they were off last week. And I still haven't caught up. Oh. Uh <laughs> That's so weird because you, you watch. I do this. I, I do this every once in a while where I just kind of will leave it for it was like, oh, I need to catch up on that one. And then another episode will go back. That one. And I'll end up leaving it several weeks and I'm like, oh shit, I have to catch up with so much of it. And I'll just sort of do like a ton at once. 
fair. That's completely fair. I'm not going to lie. This this month is going to be complete madness uh, and for me, at least. I, I don't know about you, but I, I'm guessing we're not in the same shoes because today, uh, obviously, Lost in Space, for the final season dropped. You can see my beautiful poster I got from Netflix there. Uh, and I was it's right next to my head where I'm sleeping. <laughs> it's... It's right there. Um, and, I see it. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, uh, I got the chance to watch the first episode uh, before it aired on Netflix, uh, which is very, very, uh, such a good privilege, even though I had to get up at 3 a.m. in the morning <laughs> to be able to see it. But it was worth it. And the whole season is just freaking amazing. Uh, they did justice to this family and, and to this story. And I was so happy with it, even though I cried my eyes out multiple times. <laughs> <laughs> so that yeah. sounds like it is exactly doing exactly what you said it was doing. <laughs> yeah. Um, so that that was today, and then Friday, uh, Camp Cretaceous season four is coming. Uh, so that's going to be another binge, which is it's going to be an interesting uh, test to pull off because. Uh, uh, today I can say it very secretively that I virtually took off time from work so I can watch Lost in Space. <laughs> Sorry, can you go in? <laughs> Hey, you don't need to give a reason why you take time off work. It's That's your true. holiday time. You're allowed to do whatever you like with it. That is true. That is true. And and I... <laughs> They don't need to know. That's true. That's true. I I, I will stand my ground on that. And uh, I, it was worth it. Um, and we barely have any uh, customers anyway. So I don't think we lost much. Uh, but yes, that's Camp Cretaceous on Friday. And then on the 8th of December, uh, uh, Titans is going to drop on uh, Netflix as well. I've had Titans saved to my wish list for a really long time. And I just not, have not got around to watching it. It's very good. Like I, yeah, it I'm, looks fun. I was just say <laughs> I'm very much enjoying it because uh, um, they dare to go dark, uh, which I always appreciate in DC. I think I mentioned this a lot that I love when DC does what DC does best, which is going mm. a bit darker than they fun self. Even though I love Shazam and and things like that, but you know. Dog DC is a very good DC. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I, I really enjoy it. So I can't wait to see. And, and in this season, my favorite character, Starfire, will get a lot of uh, screen time. And uh, uh, she's going to be a main character. Well, she always a main character, but she's going to be more in focus. So I can't wait to watch it and see how it evolves. Um, and then uh, what is what what else? Uh, and then obviously Spider-Man No Way Home is coming right I after have my, my birthday. I've got, I've got my ticket booked. <laughs> Mine as well. Um, because it, it, my, my local cinema was like, Wednesday the 15th. And I went, oh, okay, I won't do it that day just because that's my brother's birthday. Not that he'll care too much, but I figure dude, maybe pissing off halfway through the day just to be like, I'm going to cinema. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know, it feels a bit weird. So I did it the day after. Um, okay, so like, the 16th. Yeah, so early in the afternoon. So it'll be like quarter past one. So I can get it. I want to get it early because 17th, The Witcher season two is dropping. And obviously I need to spend the whole day watching it. That's fair. That's and fair. I can't. I can't. I can't be. I, I was sitting there going, "I'm not going to do. I want to go see Spider Man." But like, if the witch could happen, and now I can see Spider Man before the witch comes out, and we're all good. There you go. There you go. Uh, your brother's on the fifteenth. I'm on the fourteenth, and uh, mm -hmm. Spider Man is our gift. <laughs> I don't think he's going to care too much about Spider Man. I'm not going to lie. <gasps> How dare he? <laughs> Uh, um, here in Hungary it comes out on the 16th so I've been watching it on the 16th as well uh, which is fun uh, I can't wait it's it's a good I will take it as a birthday gift it's it's almost on my birthday like <laughs> thank literally you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you just two days away you know I'm, I'm happy with that uh, and then on the 24th uh, there will be actually two things dropping on Netflix that I can't wait to watch uh, one of them is a surprise because I didn't even know that this was in the works and and I posted about it on our Twitter. It's um, hmm, it's a new Korean series. And is this I, the space one? Yes, it's the space mm -hmm. one, and I forgot its title. So the I Silent Sea. Silent Sea. There you go. Yes, mm -hmm. that's the one. Thank you. Thank you. So it's it's the Silent Sea. It has a uh, uh, Beidona in it, and uh, uh, my beloved Gongyo. Uh, so I can't wait. I honestly, I think it's going to be like once again horror infused kind of thing and I you know I love those stuff so I'm like mm, yes please uh very excited and also um 
Don't Look Up is coming on on the 24th, which is the new... Uh, yeah. The I don't know how I feel movie. about that one. <laughs> Why? Yeah, I don't know. I just, I watched it and I wasn't that enthused by it. Oh? I don't know. I, I, I like, I think Leon, I mean, Leonardo DiCaprio is kind of a fantastic actor. I think it's Jennifer Lawrence that put me off. Oh. I'm not huge on her. Well, I mean, um, me neither, but... And I kind of was looking at it, I was like... Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it just feels every time over I'm like oh it feels a bit mean but also I just uh, I it it didn't I, I'm gonna wait and see what the reaction to it is because that mm. might bring me more excitement but I, I watched the trailer for it a while ago the first trailer that they put out and I kind of went eh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know it feels like it's got that kind of humor that I'm not particularly it, it's not my favorite you know well yes i i have to agree on that although i i i'm not gonna lie i i was convinced the second meryl streep showed up i was like yeah okay <laughs> i do i do love meryl streep that's so, true yeah no, i, I mean like, who doesn't love who, meryl streep who doesn't uh, uh i will definitely watch it because uh this was uh when netflix dropped uh, at the beginning of year uh, their big trailer of what kind of movies and tv shows they're gonna do uh this was one that i was like oh very interesting mm. like you know i i love end of the world movies and uh you know that's just the fact <laughs> really likes it when people die <laughs> that was, that's it's true <laughs> you, you i feel like here's, here's the thing i think like you like the sort of like i guess more obviously sad interpersonal stuff right where it's just sort of like people dying and the, the kind of reactions to that sort of thing whereas i'm in the sort of weird me- meta no it's not that word um philosophical oh place, yeah, yeah yeah where yeah. i like the stuff about grief and like human emotion in a like a sort of you know, weird like a, the depth of that sort of thing mm. where i like it to be a bit esoterical yes so there's like well, I can I can see but it's like when it's something's like really obviously sad I'm a bit like that it feels like it's gonna be a bit much for me <laughs> <laughs> but if it's like we're gonna get really like deep with like the point of human life I'm like yes okay <laughs> what have you got for me here <laughs> and I'm like I'm just you know it's obviously sad and Lily's just <laughs> obviously crying like you know and that's that's my mm-hmm. thing as well uh but then uh this is a perfect timing to tell you that you should absolutely freaking lovely watch hellbound because mm. i ended up binge watching it after we talked about it that i watched the first yeah. episode uh because it just got so freaking interesting i'm not gonna lie it was a bit hard to get through the first episode it's mm. like me do am i into this do i like it uh and then they uh, again uh my favorite thing about korean cinema and 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 tv shows and whatnot is that they can twist it in a way that is just it's just so good and they they i love how they go really deep down when it comes to character exploration and i'm like yeah yeah this is good it's it's, it's really good it's I'm gonna say it's it's from uh, the director from Train to Busan, but it's not as good as Train to Busan. There, <laughs> that's just the the way it goes, <laughs> it's, isn't it? It is, but it's uh, it's very. So it's it's the concept is is out there, so it's not a spoiler, and I'm not spoiling anything within. Uh, but basically, uh, these three demons, uh, you got um, uh. How, how, a prophecy that you're gonna die and when you're gonna die and when that time comes these three demons uh, show up from hell uh, they torture you the same way they're gonna torture you in hell and then they take you like they, they burn you it's in the trailer as well so it's you know it's not in- yeah I remember seeing the clip I was like <laughs> yes it's a it's a bit brutal it's very Fucking brutal <laughs> it's very brutal uh, and uh, you know but what's not in the trailer and I think because it has some very interesting reviews on imdb and uh after reading a few of them i realized it's because people stop after two episodes and literally after the second episode is when all the explanation and everything comes in and you're like ah shit um very well uh thought out altogether and i think people really just should stick to it and just watch it it's a slow burner it's very much a slow burner but it, it goes into it's not about the demons. It goes into everything that's going to build around them. 
the cult following and and everything and uh, how human nature works and how humans can be shepherded as as sheep uh, and i fucking loved it like uh, you know it, it was once again not about the monsters in it but uh, how we would act if something like this happens and uh, some good shit very good shit they also left it at a cliffhanger so i'm very hoping they can... yeah that was the big thing i, I was looking at there and it was like that ending explained and i'm like shut up why do you do this <laughs> yep <laughs> yep so i highly recommend help it's very it's and and trust me you just have to get through the first two episodes uh i i personally love the second episode as well but uh it, it's the third episode where it all gets suddenly all makes sense now and you understand what's what this series is about because obviously it has uh, the failure of being marketed as something that it's not which is like an action-packed very uh, heavily involved in fantasy and whatnot but it's it's a much deeper stuff again so i just stick with it i i recommend it uh yeah and that's 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 all i watched <laughs> i did watch a, a series real quick <gasps> oh um uh, cause I, do, so I was talking to a friend of mine about how much we both were disliking the Netflix couple of people <laughs> cause oh, he was in the midst of watching it. And I was okay. like, look, and it, we ended up having a bit of a discussion about it. Yeah. Um, and then he went, have you seen Arcane? Oh yeah. You started watching um, that. Yes. yes, um, yes. Uh, and I went, I haven't, but it looks really like, it just looks really pretty. So I thought mm. maybe, uh, but I don't have a, I don't give a shit about League of Legends. He goes, no, neither do I. <laughs> but I really like the series. So I went, all right. It was only nine episodes. Mm. And I watched the whole thing. And it is, it's, it, it's, it's very good. It was nice to watch something that was like, oh, this is, this is actually really, I mean, the thing that really stands out about it is that it's gorgeous. Mm. Like the animation and all the art in it is insanely pretty. Mm. Um, so the, the, so it's a visual delight, let's put it that way. Um, it gets a, it's kind of in it was released in three parts it was like three episodes three episodes three episodes um um i think it was like over the course of three weeks okay if I remember correctly because i'm i think i'm mixing up uh with the that that new Be- beatles documentary series which did an episode a day mm. which is what i nearly said but that's not what it, it was i think yeah it was it was like three episodes and then the three weeks later they did three episodes and then a week later so it, they were like three acts basically um and i got to go into it with just sort of like enjoy whatever story it was going to give to me and i think it's i think it's really good i do i, I really enjoyed it um i still don't want to play league of legends because riot games is a terrible cesspool of, of sexual harassment currently um i'm sure not, like there's a lot of people who work there who are you know in boots on the ground animators and, and programmers and all those people who i'm sure are doing their best to make really great content but mm. the higher up so oh boy <laughs> There's a lot of bad stuff going on there. Yeah. And it was like, that was, I think, part of the reason why I, I initially kind of pushed away from it because I was like, I feel like Riot are terrible. Um, and they are. Um, but it is like the, 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 yeah, but the animation in it is so gorgeous. And mm. um, they've got some really interesting characters in there. Um, Hayley Steinfeld is the voice of Yeah, Bellamy. that's what I wanted to say, yeah. <laughs> um, I was just, I was listening to her, like, oh, she's sorry for me. I was like, oh, it's Hayley. <laughs> Hayley's everywhere. <laughs> but the girl who does the voice of um, Jinx um, is also very, I've gone out of focus. You went, you went out of focus, yes. Come back to me. There, there you go. go. Um, the, the girl who does the voice of Jinx, I really liked her and her performance mm. in it. Um, I really enjoyed kind of that character. I do like a, like a slightly un like basically insane. We like those characters, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yes, it's very fun. Yeah. Um, it is a shame there's a, there's there's a villain in it that um doesn't it's because they're doing another season. Mm. He doesn't last beyond the end of this season. Oh, and I was a bit like, oh, he was a good. I really villain. liked him. I yeah. liked him. Yeah, he was a good villain. Um, it's yeah, the uh, I. Can't really get over the how well fit the animation is. I think the the first act, first three episodes is the best of the three of them. Mm. I think it's the it's the most impactful of them all. Um, it does get a bit sort of it loses it a little bit by the end, but I I did like those first three episodes quite a bit. Okay, and I'll, I'll watch the second season when it comes out. I don't know, it's good. <laughs> Excellent. I should. It jump was nice on it as well. <laughs> it was nice to go into it after watching a bit of um 
Netflix. No, what was it? What we've been calling it? Um, Netboy Cowflakes. Jesus Christ! <laughs> I can't even say live action Cowboy Bebop. Was like no, Netboy Cow Cowflakes. Jesus. <laughs> um. Yeah. Uh. So going into that, it was like, oh my god, the writing is so much better. <laughs> the plotting is so much better. The dialogue is so much better. Oh God. <laughs> I, I, I still haven't watched a single I, episode from yeah. Cowboy Bebop, I'm not going to lie. It's just so disappointing seeing everything and I'm like, I'm not sure if I'm interested. Like, I don't want to ruin... Just, I'm so, like, I want to finish it just for the sake of being like, okay, now I have a whole understanding of what it is and yeah. I can safely say X, you know? But yeah. just from those, I was just like... I watched a, cl a clip popped up for me today and it, it just, like, and again, in the dialogue, I just went, I don't like the... <laughs> I don't like what you're doing here. <laughs> ah, it's so weird. You've got such a good cast. Why are you wasting them? Yeah. I mean, unfortunately, it happens from time to time. Um, yeah, it, it sucks when it happens. Read a really interesting article about the dialogue in it from Vice, who were talking about basically the... Um, it, 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 it kind of suffers from like that quippy one-liner Whedon. Mm. Um, based dialogue and I'm like yeah that's it and it's not only that but it does it really badly yeah it's like trying to be all like oh we're being so funny and there it's like nobody talks like that yeah 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 I, I mean think... the only thing I, I I really saw was the one that Elliot shared and I was like holy shit <laughs> this can't be in the oh, series like, oh. <laughs> I literally the was fuck? sat there like <laughs> and, but it's the fact that it cuts from that line and it wouldn't I don't think I'd be so against that line if it weren't for the fact that it then cuts back to Jet and yeah. he's standing there with this like smirk on his face and nodding like he liked it and I was like this feels wrong <laughs> something about this thing. it's like it feels like I'm watching because then Spike's in the corner being like this is my favorite person ever and it feels like he's mocking him yeah but it's like it feels like everybody should be mocking that because that was so awful we are aware of that right but it's like in the scene it feels like it's being played almost slightly straight and i'm like no oh, i don't think it, we should be doing this at all yeah i don't know i don't know what went wrong honestly like uh, i i will probably check it out but uh i'm not feeling it <laughs> and i just had a wonderful experience with lost in space and uh you know uh no nah. I, I stand by I, I will stand by because i finished the fourth episode is basically the fourth episode of the anime as well yeah. it, with the, um, the eco terrorist yeah, yeah yeah and it was like i was watching the episode like i've seen this episode and it was better before <laughs> i kind of want to go back to watching that version yeah 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 yeah. yeah. oh poor john cho and everyone in there oh well it happens sometimes they are not too great uh but anyway let's get uh, into the tunnels those guys and they are behind me on the wall yeah, yeah. as well uh, <laughs> they're the... just the other way around they're, yeah uh yes uh what did you think let's start with you okay so i'll start by saying i liked it but i d i didn't think it was it's not it's not perfect it's it's an incredibly flawed movie i think and I think, but that is part of the reason why I liked it. Mm. You know, I've said before about how I like indie movies that are yes. kind of like three star pieces because I like it feels a bit like they're intentionally, the they're, they're human fingerprints are on it. So it feels like they're flawed in a way that makes it feel like people made it. Mm -hmm. This has so many huge ideas behind it. And I think it does too much and it kind of drowns everything out. Like it doesn't, it, like it doesn't necessarily go into, as on on a certain subject that it, it brings up as much as I feel like it wants to, mm. um, and I think I think it brings it's got like it's got one very big idea that it brings up in like lots of little ways, and I don't think those ways necessarily actually feel like it feeds into the bigger idea. It just feels like there's there's a disconnect between them to me, mm. um, which I felt was a bit of a shame. Because I was sitting there going, like, this is so gorgeous. Like, the, the, I and mean, obviously, Chloe Zhao is such an interesting visual film. Like, she has this very naturalistic um, uh, feel to her work. 
and the design of all of like the tech and everything and all the suits and all the other sort mm. of stuff is so pretty. Like it's all so pretty and, mm. and like delicate and gorgeous in that sort of way that I was like, it's it, it, like, it, that's, that's delight. But I felt like it, it suffered in places and like, it, it, I think I do agree with a lot of the reviews that I read in that it feels a bit like it gets stuck in being a Marvel property. So it doesn't go nearly deep enough into like what it means to be human like I think it wants to. Mm. And I think those are my main thoughts about it. Okay. Uh... You go now. Yes. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to say I don't agree. Mm. Uh, because I I can see these problems with it, obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, I will say that uh, one of the things that uh, come off very well uh, from this movie is... Uh, um, that they built a better relationship between these characters than they did with the Avengers, at least some of them. That's true. I do feel <laughs> that. Yeah, they, there is more like actual love and camaraderie between yeah. them than there is with like the original six Avengers. Yep. Yep. I'm like, mm. uh, so you know, just take notes, Marvel. Uh, to be fair, from from Goya, because uh, I I honestly think that uh, the strongest point uh, of this movie is. Uh, the characters and, and their relationships to each other. Um, I think that that's also part of the reason where it falls down because that is such a good part of it. I think mm. it gets then lost in the plot. It's true. I, I, I really agree on that. But I, I think very, um, I think that they did it perfectly, even though I would have loved to see more and they made me ugly cry, so I will never forgive them, is with Gilda Mashantina. And I'm not I just saying so that. I was so disappointed. <laughs> no, I, genuinely, I think I agree with you because like, <laughs> And I think uh, this is the point where we say we're getting into like bigger spoilers. Spoilers, yes. Spoilers. Put it up on the screen. I will. Spoilers. Um, Gilgamesh dying was really in. Like, I was like, ah, but I liked it. Yeah. <laughs> like, we don't, there's like a couple, and it's the same with, um, I think, with Ajax as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are dead so quickly. So quickly. That it kind of feels like, oh, I, I wanted more of these people and you've mm. kind of gotten rid of and it kept taking me out of it a little bit, I think. I think I kept detaching a bit every time that they were like, ah, oh, we're going to take rid of it. We're going to get rid of this person. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I'm like, but why? I want more. Yeah. Yeah. Less. I mean, I... Okay. I I, uh, I think, uh, especially with Gilgamesh, uh, who is played by the wonderful Dolly. Uh, such a, he was uh, just such a good job. He was so lovely at it. <laughs> He's just the best, you know. It's it's. I love him. This is mm. great. Uh, and he was great with Angelina. And I'm not gonna lie. I've watched many interviews with the Eternals cast, and their friendship is just something that warms my heart. And no one <laughs> seems to understand why, but it's just so beautiful. Yeah, it's cute. <laughs> it's so beautiful. I love it. Like uh, especially, I love the uh, moment that they recorded at the premiere where Angelina is doing an interview, and Don just comes behind her, and then when she realizes that it's him, it's like just pure joy everywhere and I'm like oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my heart I love these two people I'm very biased I just wrote my re uh, review or just finished it because I was obviously very much uh, full on Comic Con and Modern Duty but I finally finished my review on Eternals and, and I just wrote about this that I, I am very fully aware that I am very biased with this movie because I do <laughs> do no but to be fair I do think that they had one of the more interesting relationships yeah. in it and I don't think they went into it enough yeah. I think they, they, they gone got pushed to the side and it's like oh, no but this is so yes I, I think you see that that was one uh, my other problem as well like they focus so much on Cersei and Icarus uh, when they had uh, Gilgamesh and Tina and uh, Makari and Druig uh, that I was like you had just so much better like you know i have nothing against uh i uh, love gemma chan as an actually I, obviously. fantastic yes, <laughs> yes uh but uh but you know you you had much it more is a interesting bit like, things going i think i think she's very interesting and i like the fact that she is yeah. kind of the the sort of place of like genuine love and compassion yes um she's kind of that heart in it he's such milk toast <laughs> he's so like Ugh. Yeah, poor Richard Madden. Like... Which I don't know. And, and, and yeah, I love, Richard Madden is great. I've seen him and stuff, and and, and very much enjoyed him. But mm -hmm. he, but I and I think, but I think it's also intentional to his character because he's so suppressed. He is, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
but it means that every time you hear iconic emblem i and i feel like maybe that's part of the reason why i should have seen it coming a bit with like kind of his reveal i was just like there's something so off about you i'm not gonna lie i like that twist because i didn't expect I did, it i did like it but it was a bit sort of like it, it felt a bit it did like oh so you've been forcing me to pay attention to this guy just that he's boring because he's got actually he's the real villain of the whole mm. piece all right but like you've also neglected uh, like all the really i mean fucking i can't remember his name but i really like him oh uh faced us yeah and his lovely little family that he's yes got in, in, in like the actual first yep <laughs> <laughs> the actual first <laughs> yeah <laughs> Yes. And it was done with like genuine care yes. and love and like with a bit of built in like relationship behind mm-hmm. it that you actually were like, okay, this is a this is a genuine family that cares about each other. Yeah. Cool. Um oh, man. And I really like these two. Don't get enough of them. He's, oh, Drew Yamakari, so, yeah, yeah. He's so like complicated and interesting. Mm-hmm. Um I don't think it gets across enough that little um Sprite here is actually in love with. Uh, yeah, I agree on that. It's, First, it's, I'm not going to lie. Because when it was said, I was like, oh, okay. I guess <laughs> we're doing this now. But it, it makes sense. I can see it. But like, right. <laughs> I will tell you a better one. I thought that uh, uh, she was talking about Cersei at first. Because it wasn't... That would have been way more interesting. I know. <laughs> it wasn't obvious. Uh, I don't know if it was because, obviously, here it went with a Hungarian dub. Mm. Uh, and I don't know if it was because of that. But it, it wasn't clear at first. So it, I was like... It's really not. Um, what? I, I don't... I don't. I think the, the I think you get the sense of her wanting to grow obviously, up. Obviously, yeah, yeah, yeah. And an adult and everything. Yeah. But it being to do with him, yeah. that's not that's clear not, at all. Oh, that's <laughs> not that. No, 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 no. It wasn't clear. So I was like... But why are we hearing about this for the first time? It's um, like, oh, she's obviously in love with him. I was like, what? <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> How is it obvious? <laughs> <laughs> yes, but um, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Kingo was the freaking... Uh, he was just fun. <laughs> joy of my life in that, like, you know, he, he was so much fun. Uh, but, uh, but you know, like, I love the character so much and, and I loved uh, how Marvel actually... Uh, decided to roll with this story because I even uh, mentioned it in my review that obviously this is the deeper uh, part of Marvel comics as well. Like, uh, you know, I, I pride myself in knowing a lot about the Marvel comics and uh, they when they announced them, I was like, who? <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like you know i i remember that it happened with guardians of the galaxy because obviously a lot of people didn't hear about them like uh, even among the uh comic book uh fans it was like guardians oh yeah yeah i think i remember but uh it was a bit more obvious that uh, you know it's it's them and obviously james gunn did a wonderful work bringing them to life uh but with their eternals i had to do research i was like oh jesus who are these people <laughs> <laughs> what? What? oh they're basically greek gods yes That's what they are. <laughs> there we go Although uh, i did that didn't actually it was one of those really stupid things where it was like like when i watched the magicians and they kept referring to our lady underground and i didn't oh, know yeah, they were yeah. actually talking about persephone like the literal Persephone, I was yes. like, "Oh, that's funny." It's just the same thing. <laughs> I didn't realize that they were like actually meant to be kind of representative of the Greek gods until yes. afterwards. I was talking to my friend Charlotte, and she was like, "Oh, so um, basically, um, Marrakes is Hermes." And I was like, "Oh, they're all actually meant to be." Yeah. These. Okay, it's not just that like she's got us. She's kind of named after Athena. She's genuinely is. She is, yeah, yeah Athena. Yeah. yeah. Okay, <laughs> my bad. I'm sorry. It's like. But look, uh, it, it, I I knew about it because I read about it a lot. Uh, you know, I, I grabbed some of the comics as well. Uh, uh, I will also point out that the actual uh, leader in the comics was Tina, uh, and and not uh, Ayak. So you know, they they made a lot of changes, but I think they made a lot of good changes. So I I don't mind it at all. They made. Uh, I think it sounds like they made changes made sense to the plot. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah exactly. Uh, um, I will say that I loved Angelina Jolie, like. Yeah, she was great. I think she, uh, her scenes, especially like I needed more from her, even uh, because I I think I loved the scenes, uh, especially Gilgamesh's dad was 
you know, it was heartbreaking, but it was so important mm. to to her character, especially. And I loved how they brought that back at the end. Uh, also, a huge waste of Bill Skarsgård uh, as the voice of the deviant that, uh, you know, uh, goes after them. Because that was Bill Skarsgård. And, uh, yeah. I didn't know that. There you go. Yep, there you go. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you know what? Yeah, that feel when it comes back in, that feels like a completely non yeah. point yep. by the end of it. You're just sort of like, okay, oh, that's also a plot. I guess why? <laughs> it sort of becomes that sort of like, I don't feel like there's really a need for this when we've got all this. It felt like they had such a big question on their shoulders, like and and not a really easy answer mm, to it. Mm. Where it was like, this thing needs to be born, you know. I guess in order to keep the universe running yes. but is that worth all of human life and all that sort of stuff I was like that's really interesting and you've it not is, yeah. it almost felt to me that they went oh god we've written, written ourselves into a corner where we don't actually have a place to go with this is going to be anywhere close to satisfying <laughs> in a way yeah yeah because it's only it's like we're gonna get rid of all of them it's like okay but then what what happens to the universe then guys are you thinking this through properly it doesn't feel like you are because like, there was somebody floated forward the idea of like, oh, maybe we, we need to find a way to to get him out whilst Without... also keeping the planet yeah, alive. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it felt like they dropped that as a line of inquiry really, really quickly. <laughs> and the other thing yeah. I thought was, um, I felt like Kingo leaving at the end felt a bit weird. Or like during the, where he was suddenly like, actually, I do agree with them, but I'm not going to fight you about it. And I was like, well, it didn't sound like you agreed with him like five minutes ago. So I don't know where this is coming from. And then they just don't mention him for a really long time during the fight. I th- and then he just tops hmm. up again at the end. And it was a bit sort of like, this feels a bit off. And um, like, it feels a bit like, it feels to me, it felt to me more like, Mel Nanjani isn't available for this period of time during shootings. We're just not going to talk about it. <laughs> Uh, I think he said it the best in in, in an interview that uh, uh, you know he obviously it was all about him not wanting to fight the family he built up uh, basically by choosing any side. Uh, it, it, yeah, I guess, but it felt a bit like it didn't. I felt like that didn't come across properly. It, I felt like okay. that was sort of like it didn't because he even says he goes, "I'm not. I agree with him, but I don't want to fight you on this." But I was like, "When did you agree with him at all?" That doesn't feel up until this point. It felt like you're on board with this entire thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. I, and I now do you're feel switching, that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, now you're switching your. Now you're kind of changing up your views here, and it feels a bit like okay. You could have just said none of this is okay. I don't want any part of it. But you guys go off, I guess. Um, and I would have, I would have been more on board with that yeah. than, and I don't you know. It's just that one bit, a bit, a bit of dialogue, and especially at the end when they're also isn't they like connected. Mm. Nobody mentions whether or not Kingo also was connected, like elsewhere, especially when he pops up in that last scene. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was like, I felt like I thought he was going to mention it, and he didn't. And I was like, but he did. He was he he was part of that, right? I mean, he he he, <laughs> he was theoretically, but uh, yeah. But that's um, my problem. It's like I feel like we should have seen that in some form or another. Yeah, he yeah, was yeah. like, no, I, far I, away. I, I agree. I agree. Yeah. Um, but yeah, or, or um, I think what was the what gives this uh, more an even more interesting part is that it is revealed that they are basically robots, like very robots. Yes, uh, very high functioning okay. ones. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know, uh, this means that uh, Salma Hayek <laughs> obviously dropped a bomb that she has a multiple contract deal with Marvel, uh, so she. Oh, she- <laughs> but, but, yeah. <laughs> Which I think she wasn't supposed to reveal, uh, but I think that that says well, a lot. Well, she can that... be built again. Yes, basically. Well, because when uh, it is revealed to Cersei, I think it kind of became obvious that there's not just one of them, like one body uh, they have, like they have multiple bodies. Well, when... I just assumed that they that there were just like different ones out there because like, uh, it all created like different creations. Like I thought they were like kind of unique. 
I, I think when it ba- became obvious to me, like w- what they are showing us, because they talk a lot about this memory transfer mm. uh, thing, uh, you know, that's uh, what causes Tina's problem, uh, uh, obviously. She and... basically has PTSD, which yep. I just was like, oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because she remembers uh, the previous destruction. Uh, mm. And uh, when uh, Cersei uh, shows these visions, uh, sees these visions uh, uh, about where they are from and you know mm. she sees herself uh you can see a line of uh other uh bodies yeah that's, behind. but that's why i thought they were just like all different i don't think they are i think it's it's all her bodies like uh, whenever a planet gets destroyed they, they, they get they... destroyed as well no they said that the reason that they survived was because during the time that that happens they're touching the titan basically uh, and it gave them extra power to be able to survive whatever happens. Okay. Okay, yeah. Okay. It's been a while when I've I, I've seen it, mm. so I'm like, oh, I'd be dark on that part. But uh, but yeah, I think I think it's all their bodies like standing behind them. So you know, basically, what I'm saying, we will probably see some uh, yeah, and Dolly I mean, and like you know, it's it's much easier to bring their characters back with a reasonable explanation because we were basically already given one here like they mm. can return uh which i would be very happy about because i need gilgamesh back I'm like, Please. <laughs> thank you i will say um the, the, okay so the, the last part of the movie yes and i want to get into this because i think we've only got about five minutes left until you need to sort of banish it, yeah mm. um yeah. um <laughs> The last part of the movie, I felt like really was trying to hammer home, like, this is emotional. And I wasn't really feeling any of it because everybody was like crying. And I was like, okay, I can see. It. But I wasn't getting anywhere close to emotional. Um, I, I went through two separate, like, kind of diametrically opposed feelings. The first one was the actual bit of emotion that I did, like, it genuinely got teared up, which is when um, Cersei went, I have a bit of power left. Hey, Sprite, do you want me to make you human? Yeah. That genuinely got me like, oh, okay, that one, hurt. <laughs> that, that one I felt. On the other side, the part that I think was meant to be very serious and I couldn't take seriously at all was Icarus actually flying into the sun. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's... it's like, I get what you're doing here, but it's a bit too on the nose. And I actually in the stage went... <laughs> it was a bit on the nose, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it was just sort of like, oh my God, they're actually doing that. It's a great nod. I'm not gonna say so. Like you know, I don't think it is great. I think it's a bit much. I think it's a bit yeah. sort of like, oh really? We're gonna do this now? He's Icarus, and therefore he has to fly into the sun. Okay. I mean, maybe that's the only way he can be destroyed. I think they probably. I did. He didn't. I did. Yeah. I, there was no sense of like had to do anything, but he was like, I have to die now. The sun will do. <laughs> Yeah. Well, he betrayed his friends, his family, basically. So I mean, know. yes, he did. I'm not saying that he didn't. The, the The idea of him destroying himself was not the thing that um, it's the fact that his name is Icarus. He's supposed to be actual Icarus. Yeah. And he flew into the sun. Yeah. yeah it yeah. was a bit like, oh, my God, you guys, are you really, <laughs> really? Fair. Also, I think the entire bit right at the end where they're just sort of like, oh, what are we going to do now? We're here on Earth. We've got our families. We've got to decide what we're going to do with our lives. Oh, wait. What's his face? Fucking giant red robot. Um, um, Harisham? Yes. Harisham? Uh, 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 Harisham. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, pops up and goes, nope. And then just sort of steals them all the way. And you're sort of like, what? <laughs> I mean, they did stop the big plan, basically. I mean, yeah, but it just sort of feels like it's suddenly like, oh, okay. We're just doing this now. I did like the detail that Sprite doesn't go with him because she's not an eternal anymore. She's human. She's not, yeah. Uh, and that was nice. I, I noticed that. I saw that. Um, and then obviously right at the end, well, there's the two bits right at the two end. Bits, yeah, yeah. I'm. We'll talk about I want him, uh, Kit Harrington, properly in a minute because I think yeah. he's got more to discuss. Harry Styles has popped up as the fuck lord of the universe from yep. what I can tell. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> Which Capito. got ruined for everybody Every- really oh. early. <laughs> that was what we were complaining about in, in mm. one of the pro- previous live streams because uh, that got spoiled immediately it was like after immediately. they went. So I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not uh, into that sort of like 
The whole spoiler culture around that nobody says anything yeah. is a bit intense in the, ta- the way that they kind of don't tell actors certain things in order for things to not be spoiled at all. Mm. I feel like there's a sense of like you should just trust yeah. that like the, your actors are actually going to do their fucking jobs yeah. um, and, and not like actively lie to them. That seems ridiculous to me. But this is on the opposite end in which it was like, that would have been a really fun reveal for the rest of us to find out. Exactly. When we actually go to the cinema. Yeah. And you just sort of, everybody just was like, just fucking spoiling. There you go. He's the, it's there now. And it was a bit like, all right, I guess, fuck me. <laughs> yep. I was so frustrated with that because honestly, it was, it was a fun moment. Mm. Uh, like I was like, oh, Thanos' brother. Hmm very interesting okay where are you gonna take this because obviously he will have a big role in the future mm. like uh you know uh and he's a very fun character um in the comics as well uh he's actually one that i knew about i was like oh <laughs> i know i know this <laughs> uh but uh yeah i wish i could have seen it and experienced it for myself when i was actually watching the movie but nope <laughs> just Alas. Fuck all of you. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, it was still fun, though. I, I will say that. Because um, the last bit mm. is Kit Harrington being sort of something new. I, <laughs> I was very happy to find out that he was sticking around because I really liked him. Like yes. from the moment he popped up, I was like, I like this guy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, and from what I hear... Because, um, again, my friend Charlotte did a little bit of research. He's going to be playing some kind of medieval knight thing. Yeah. Which I'm like, very cool. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know anything about what this is, but it sounds fun. Um, I will tell in- you exactly, because I also did my re- research. Uh, uh, yeah, it's like his, his, it was like a, his dad. He's going to play the Black guy. Knight, yes. Yeah. Uh, and the Black Knight is heavily connected to uh, Blade. Uh, uh, of yep. course. So the voice you're hearing uh, at the end of that very short scene is actually from Marsha Yilali, who's going to play Blade. Oh, we were wondering about that. Because <laughs> <laughs> you know, like Charlotte and I were talking, it was like, I recognized the voice, but I had no idea where it was. And it was, it was like... She she couldn't find any information about like who it was meant to be, it and I him. was like, so it's Mahershala Ali. That's very cool. I can it tell her him, that yeah. now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's that tells him. up the mysteries <laughs> is solved. Um, yeah. Uh, so that, that's gonna that be is very interesting. It it in you know obviously it's just all theories from now on, but uh, uh, it could definitely mean that we're gonna see Kit Harrington in Blade. Uh, it's very possible because uh, the uh, the characters are heavily involved with each other. Um, it feels like such a setup for a character that we had no idea was gonna be to do with anything. Yeah. Do we think he's getting his own film? At some point? But you mean Kit Harrington's character? Yeah. I think so. Or if not a film, then at this point, a TV series, maybe. He's gonna, he, 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 yeah, he just seems so... And it, and it also just, it feels such so different to anything else that they've got going on, or they've had going on before. I, I reckon this could be a lot of fun. It could be. Whatever yeah. they decide to do with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I feel like we've had a... I mean, there's been such an attempt to kind of bring in sort of like there's been a lot of p- people over the past decade or so, I'd say, who keep trying to make like Robin Hood or like Arthurian legend based mm-hmm. films. Yes, and they haven't. They've just done so poorly. Like it's nobody wants anything to no. do with them. No. Um, it, like they just don't perform very well. And I feel like there's there's the, on the one hand, it's like yes, clearly nobody's really interested in seeing yes another remake of Robin Hood or or or. The Knights of Camelot or anything like that, unless yeah. it's done interestingly, like The Green Knight, which was genuinely incredibly good. It was I really, really like I really liked that movie, and it was you know interesting, and it wasn't like focused in on King Arthur like yeah, it all yeah, yeah. was at once. So if they can do like a proper like knights and 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 that sort of thing and make it new and interesting, I would be very interested to see what they do with that. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. 
But yep. we'll see. Who knows? We can see. We can see. Uh, it's going to be, you know, it's always uh, whenever a big project from Marvel comes out, it's always interesting to see like how it's going to build into this world. And I think what I love with Eternals, there's obviously a lot of uh, Easter eggs towards uh, the Avengers and previous events. They tell you why they couldn't have it when Thanos came around and whatnot. Um, so. <laughs> just, just Kit Harrington being unable to say Thanos in any way that's like yeah. normal. <laughs> Do you see that interview where he was like, we were up at like three in the morning yeah. and I just couldn't say it. <laughs> I just couldn't say it. Famous. <laughs> Which is completely fine, to be fair. I keep mixing it up Why because... Why you help with Thanos? Yeah. <laughs> because uh, we couldn't. Thanos. Uh, Thanos. Thanos. Uh... He's just he's so English about it. It's yeah. like, no way. In it. You just can't say it. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's... Uh, it's um... I will be because we already see uh, saw the celestial celestials uh, before uh, because Eagle, uh, dad of Peter Quill, is one of this. Uh, oh, of course, one right, of them. Yeah. So they already popped up in Marvel, so they not new basically to this whole story. But uh, now their bigger purpose has been revolved because uh, basically they just you know they need new members and they need to born out of fucking planets destroying civilizations uh fun um but uh you know they are a big part That's in another way uh, um in uh, in the marvel comic book universe mm. uh, so i think bringing them in around this time is actually making a lot of sense um especially with the multiverse opening up like this could be very interesting if you guys do it right and so far i am not disappointed so i'm like i'm so far i'm, I'm liking what what i'm seeing and where this I is heading i would say that with this because this is obviously the beginning of something this new sort of yeah. chapter and 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 i would I really want marvel to go further into like character stuff yes like really like in like deep character stuff as opposed to sort of like skimming the surface as they're so kind of often want to do yeah yeah um because i think they've got a lot of really great actors and Mm. like interesting characters that they could really heavily like and go instead of thinking so much about that sort of heavy large plot that is going to kind of oversee the entire whatever how or they uh, they decide to do really making it into like a character piece will be the the, the interesting thing for yep. me yep yep and i i think uh, uh you know so far uh i am happy with what they presented uh i think they can Stop. definitely I think they can go more go more yes definitely it, it there's really get in there. more room uh <laughs> to do that but i love what they did with wanda i think her character got a wonderful wonderful arc i that i really uh love um and uh, you know it's going to be interesting to see how they handle uh these newbies basically uh i am very interested to see what's going to happen in spider-man uh at this point and at this rate because they also just announced that tom holland is getting another uh trilogy uh, uh with sony and which MCU is a really interesting thing working. to hear after <laughs> after tom holland very recently was like if i'm still playing spider-man at, at age 30 i've done something wrong so it's a bit like I think that many is is interesting yeah. for me. It was like, oh wow, that's a lot more Spider Man movies. <laughs> but uh, he also said in in a previous previous interview that uh, he would play Spider Man as long as he needs to play him. So that's you know, true. You know, it's it's the Marvel talk. I will call it that. Uh, but I am very happy that he's he's going to be returning because I honestly thought that this movie uh no way home is gonna end very sadly for a poor tom and i would have been very unsatisfied with that i had an ending in my head and i was like i was like i'm sitting here i'm very excited for this movie specifically because i think it's going to go really into like the thing Mm -hmm. that i i like about spider-man which is like he's a really he's a genuinely somebody who's doing his best yes to like make they be good and Mm -hmm. then bad shit just keeps happening to him yep and yep. it's like, so he just because, and it's like, he's so, it's like kind of like, we must dampen the the bright flower <laughs> with love. Yep. I, I, like already from the trailers, it's very interesting to see where he's heading. 
for the for the fan fiction people, it's the need for womp, you know. <laughs> you torture the torture them with the, the cinnamon roll. I, I think it's is gonna get tortured, poor thing. Uh I'm gonna cry on this. I'm oh crying God. on everything. It's okay. <laughs> it's happening. Uh but yeah. Uh, I love the Eternals. Uh, I definitely need them back because I, I think they are great characters and they can do so much more with them. Um, I, I find it very interesting, though, but, you know, there's a lot of talk about how it's yeah. the lowest rated Marvel movie. I don't think, though, I think it may be the lowest rated, but I don't think it's the worst. Oh, no, no, no. no, no. I think that's the interesting thing that people keep looking at the percentages and being like, it must mean it's terrible. It's like, no, I think it's because people have really divided views on it. I think that's the only reason it has vaguely... Mm -hmm. And I think it's because people kind of going in like this should be something more than it is. Again, it's got it's got issues, but like actually the general consensus that I saw was quite positive. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. that it was like this is something really interesting, but it doesn't quite nail it. Mm. So what they could do next will, will be quite interesting. It's not yeah. like the way that people talk about Thor two, where it's just sort of like this is just an math film. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I agree. I agree. It's it's definitely not the first Marvel. Like I would never say that. Uh, I I it's, uh, I talked with because you know Elliot was supposed to be here, uh, and actually when we talked about it, uh, um, I told him that. Uh, uh, this was uh, the third time where I got overly excited during a Marvel movie and I was actually sitting on the edge of my seat throughout the whole movie. I was like so invested in it. Uh, and it only happened before with uh, Infinity War and uh, uh, Winter Soldier. Um, and I love everything Marvel, but uh, those were the two movies where I was like, Jesus Christ, and now this. So for me, it's it was an A-plus uh, movie. I really love the Eternals and then I love these characters. So for me, what I need is 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 more from them, more of their story and how they're gonna, you know. Yeah, I'd always be also tempted to like strip it back a little bit, maybe in yeah. terms of like, or like really solidify the focus on it because it this felt divided to me. It felt like the the idea of what they were going for was so big. Mm -hmm. It's like just bring it in a little bit and just, kind of yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. focus it in. Yeah, on like I one. Agree. Kind of, it can be it can be like a really ephemeral sort of theme. You know, I love an ephemeral theme, but I think it needs to. It just it brought in just a smidge more because they had so many questions. That I don't think it Answer. actually went into yeah, any yeah, of them yeah, properly. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree, hundred percent. Right. Uh, but uh, yeah, just keep them coming. I'm still happy with you, Marvel. <laughs> I'm even happier now because this is one of the best diverse guests that I've I've seen. Oh yeah, I mean the, the yeah the cast is really is so great beautiful uh i need more from from this kind of stuff like just we want more of her please yes yes and and my <laughs> beloved please don lee and and angelina as well please yes but like she but, really wasn't she was... nearly enough no 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 <laughs> we needed more of her like please uh i actually did decide i am one of those people i started learning sign language because i think it's i very keep important. wanting to it's really interesting it i is. like I, it's but it's one of those things that i'm like I'm also learning Spanish. I'm not actually that good at like lang I'm not I'm not very good at like Spanish in, in general. So if I were to try and do like another language on top of that, even if it is like sign language, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think it, it basically it's just gonna go wrong. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna lie, it's 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 mixing up a little bit in in my head as well with, with the Korean uh, stuff that I'm learning and I'm like oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I might have I'm to not, decide. I'm not a linguist in any way, shape, or <laughs> nope, form. <laughs> no, nope. I think I have to decide which which one to go with first. But uh, I I think it might be the sign language because I my brain is just I'm trying to take in Korean, but right now my brain is stopped functioning on that level. Um, so yeah. Uh, yeah. But um, thank you for listening to us rambling about Eternals and other tangents that we like to do and uh, we see you all next week when we don't know what we're going to talk yeah. about <laughs> not, not, not a fucking way we'll figure it out by that yeah. time it's okay we might have a guest who knows uh, we'll try our best uh, but we love you all take care really well friends bye